So this, my friends, is the Good Ride review of the Gilson Pioneer. To give this a quick summary, it's an interesting board. In a lot of ways, it's really fun and really unique and does some things I didn't think possible for this kind of board. But then in other conditions, it, it definitely feels weird and it's not something I'm used to and it's not something I was super comfortable with. Um, great in softer snow. Really good for a camber twin in powder uh, that I couldn't set back that much. And uh, just the hard snow conditions on this soft edge uh, where there's an extension, check the on the table review. Uh, the harder snow conditions like I rode today, kind of finishing up the review, was the one kind of like part where I, I didn't feel that good on it. Um, and it definitely felt loose and tricky and I would have to have a few days on hard snow to really get used to it. Now let's get into the flex. It's got a really cool flex that really breaks well in the middle uh, while still has energy in the tip and tail. And I was really surprised at how well this thing buttered, how well this thing popped off the tip and tail, and how playful it was for being camber. That soft edge too also makes it less catchy. Um, it makes it more fun and more playful to ride, um, which is pretty cool. And this, this on snow feel, it's so hard to describe. It feels loose kind of a little bit, like, like if you're on a hybrid rocker on a hard snow day, or if you're on um, like continuous rocker, except it doesn't want to keep spinning. Um, getting used to how these two soft edges and this channel in the middle, I don't know, check the on the table review, you can see it a lot better, but it basically goes up like this, across up high and then down into a little channel here and then up again and down. So one footing and flat basing takes a little getting used to. Once you lean over onto the edge, I felt like, okay, I had a normal board again and it was nice to have actual camber on the edge without any lifted uh, uh, edges here. So when you got down over, you just had to lean a little bit further than your average snowboard. You're on that edge, it sets and it turns like a camber board. But then it has this kind of loose, semi-loose, um, semi-stable kind of feel underfoot. But in soft snow, this channel here engages that soft snow and in powder, uh, it really creates a unique feel and a glide to the snow and I'm like, okay, I get why they're doing this. Um, you know, as far as edge hold goes, man, it's got good grip. And I was out today in some, like some of the hardest snow I've ridden all year. And when I got that edge over, it really grabbed and held. Um, you know, I just rode this as it was sent to me. Um, doesn't seem detuned at all. And it had good grip and it did a good job. The turn initiation's pretty quick. This soft edge, this kind of like 3D base technology, um, not like the, the wood of the core hasn't been manipulated or there's no bevels, but you just added more base. Um, as you can see, it's very interesting with the turn initiation. Going from edge to edge is pretty cool, but you do feel that from here, that base and come over and you have this moment of like, floaty, plainy feeling where you feel like the board's almost off the snow. That can be good or it can be bad. It depends on your preference. Sometimes I was really enjoying that on softer snow and on harder snow, it felt a little uncomfortable for me. Again, I, I'm not, I, I won't have the time to get used to that. Um, but uh, what I did like about this is just edge to edge transitioning, turning, learning how to turn on this. It didn't really come with a manual. You just had to lean over a little more and just start getting used to what it's doing. And I felt like the turning experience of carving was pretty good. It didn't blow my mind on a carve, but it definitely had a nice power through it. And you could feel a little bit of that camber. It's weird how the soft edge kind of seems to interfere with the camber a little bit. Like um, it's a mellow camber and it's like, 
it's like look at the on the table review and you'll see it has decent speed but uh this flex in the middle that makes it butter so well also makes it a little more chattery um a little more bucky and in an uneven terrain i rode a lot um off piste with this um in some uneven snow to get to some good snow and it did a good job and it could ride all day in a resort. It wasn't the best I've ever seen, but it was really good. And then uh, switch was fine either way. Um, feels like twin, directional twin, um, but it, it felt like pretty much the same either way, especially when centered. Now powder, I didn't have like dream powder, but I got some, some wet, warm, off-piece snow. I think I have video footage of it or not. If, if I do, uh, you would have seen it already. But it was amazing uh, what a camber twin was doing in powder. It must be this soft edge. It felt like it lifted you up as you started to pick up speed and it planed better. It planes like you're a better old school camber snowboarder who knows how to make a camber twin float really well by keeping its speed and planing. And I felt like I was better in powder in some aspects uh, because of that. I still had a lot of rear leg burn and it was really thick and wet. It wasn't that deep, but it's that kind of thick and wet that like if you were on a true a, a true camber twin without anything going base tech wise, you might have cartwheeled once or twice on a bad landing. It was sticky, it was wet, but it was still fun. And I was really surprised how well it did. And check the on the table review for the setback. I wish that all these inserts had more um, use for setting back on board to kind of make it more of an all mountain board where this feels a little more on the all mountain freestyle side but it is uh you know it is pretty competent powder for what it is still not bl mind blowing like getting on the gilson fly it's just like a whole other level and getting on other like twins and directional twins like this that have more setback going on on board they're still centered on side cut but set back on board. Um, they provided much better float in powder than this, but it's still really good for what it is. And, and for park, you know, um, I, I rode the half pipe in it once and it was okay, but I just, you know, I did some, some old man shit, you know, and, uh, and getting some little air here and there, getting some jumps, pretty good. I, you know, with the softer flex, I don't know if you want to go super big with this, but I felt fine on small and um, bordering on medium sized kickers. And uh, overall, I think it's a very unique ride. I think, you know, two concerns is, you know, how it rode for me in hard snow. Um, it definitely felt different. I think you can get used to it, but I'm not 100% sure. And then um, how, uh, base maintenance my only idea with this is i don't know maybe you could like dial back the soft edge a little bit more oh and the weight it's a pretty heavy board but other than that i think it's that that's not a deal breaker and i think for the right rider looking for something different and unique and wants that kind of like that channel feel on a board and a soft edge that is that's soft but not catchy uh could be really fun